This is the video for October 11, 2022's reset, and we'll get to the point really quickly. First off, in core activities, there'll be bonus crucible ranks. So if you're looking to level up and reset your crucible quickly, or if you're looking to get the crucible skin for the seasonal weapon, this would be a good week to do it. In addition, Rift will be the activity this week crucible. No, it's not everyone's favorite, but some people like it, so that will be the Crucible activity. For Nightfall's Light Blade is the Nightfall. Sorry, guys, but it is the one this week. Obviously, trying to do that as a GM is going to be pretty tough. The weapon that you will get is Mindbender's Ambition, which a lot of people are waiting to get some good rolls of that. So, again, that could be a reason to kind of jump into Nightfall's this week. This will be the Lost Sector rotation for the week of October 11th. Keep in mind, this is how you get Lost Sector-specific exotics when you do them solo. So, on October 11th is K1 Logistics on the moon, and the reward is Helmet. October 12th is K1 Communion on the moon, and the reward is Legs. On October 13th is Sky Dock 4 on EDZ, and the reward is Arms. On October 14th is Scavenger Den in the EDZ, and the reward is Chest. On October 15th, the, it is the Quarry on the EDZ, and the reward is Helmet. On October 16th is Excavation Site 12, the reward is legs, and October 17th is Concealed Void, and the reward is arms. For this week's feature raids, dungeons, and challenges, one thing to keep in mind is if you're trying to get any of these, I actually have a pretty extensive playlist that has guides to most of these, so if you're struggling with them, check those out. The featured dungeon for this week is Grasp of Avarice. Obviously, really fun dungeon, something I quite have enjoyed quite a bit. The featured raid is Deepstone Crypt. So remember, for both of these activities, you will get pinnacles. For Deepstone Crypt specifically, if you're looking to get the Descendant title and try and do challenges, all challenges will be open, so that's one thing to keep in mind. The raid challenge for King's Fall will be Daughters, and in this challenge, in the same phase, you cannot stand on one of the plates more than once. So really, the simplest way to do this is that in each phase, you just rotate, because again, you only have three, basically three times that you have to get torn and get the buff. You basically just rotate either counterclockwise or clockwise the people who are standing on plates. The Val challenge is caretaker. Again, I have a video for this, but essentially you need to make sure that the people who are going in and getting the symbols are only getting one at a time. The Vogue challenge is Atheon. And for this one, again, I have a video for that, but for Atheon specifically, it's that every person that goes into either Mars or Venus has to shoot one of the oracles. What that does mean is that the person who has the relic is going to have to drop the relic to shoot and then pick it back up. So that's a video, guys. Again, new series for me. Feel free to provide feedback, what you'd like to see differently, what you'd like to see added. There's a lot of things I could add to this rotation, but again, I'm trying to keep it really simple, give you the key things you need coming into the next week. Again, that's a video. If you like it, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, jump my Discord, and I'll see you, Guardians in the Tower.